We begin with the Rust Armorer trial on its eighth day now, and we are hearing directly from the prop house that provided rounds for the movie set. Reporter Stephanie Muniz is in Santa Fe with the latest on the trial. Steph. Ron Darlene, well, the prosecution has presented almost 30 witnesses in their case against Hannah Gutierrez Reed, including two previous witnesses, investigators with the Santa Fe County Sheriff's Office. They talked about the search warrant done at PDQ Props, the prop house that provided some of the ammunition for the Rust movie set. And today, jurors finally hearing from PDQ Props. The owner, Seth Kenny, took the stand. The defense has continued to suggest Kenny said sabotaged Hannah Gutierrez Reed. This morning, Gutierrez Reed appeared to be in a good mood despite being on the eighth day of her trial, accusing her of involuntary manslaughter. Kenny described his friendship with yeah, Thel Reed, there. Hannah's father, and working with him on the set of 1883, saying there was a cowboy training with the shooting range where Thel brought 45 long Colt ammo. While on the stand, Kenny talked about the moment he started to feel blamed for the shooting. I'm talking about a morning news show uh, where Mr. Bulls and Mr. Reed were the guests. Yes, I do remember that. And did anything about their statements on that morning news show cause you to believe that you were perhaps being targeted or blamed? That's difficult to answer. It, it started to feel, knowing Thale and, and having been friends with him for a few years at that point, I understood who he was and how much he loves his daughter. Um, so I felt like what was about to happen, that was the very beginning. And that was essentially to ultimately try to pin the live ammunition on the set of rust that somehow it came, you know, through me. Now, for most of the day, the prosecution well, continued to try and push how live ammo got on the set. The defense continuing to ask Kenny about live ammo that was used to train actors on 1883. And, and what is that? That is a box that, um, that I populated with Thale Reed's 1883 Cowboy Training Camp Live Ammo. On that particular box itself, it's not marked live, is it? No. So the rounds around it and in the box, do you know if these loose rounds are live? They, I would assume that they are live. Now, the prosecution also brought forth a witness, an expert witness in audio and visual forensic, taking closer looks at the ammunition on Alec Baldwin's uh, belt buckle. Now, the prosecution did rest their case today, so the trial is going to be continuing tomorrow with the defense taking over. Reporting live in Santa Fe, Stephanie Muniz, KOET Action 7 News. Steph, thank you. You can live stream the trial at KOET.com and on our free, very local app. Just look for the live alert when you open the app on your phone or smart TV.